So today we will create a nice pad with the Seco cell sampler module, the Seco sampler. So we will sample one note and turn it into a pad. This is a great sound design technique that I really recommend exploring. You can get very interesting and unique sounds that only you will have. Now, I will quickly mention that I also recorded a tutorial video for my patrons about this sampler. So if you are interested, links in the description. So let me show you the main idea here. Let's use the FM operator as a starting point. Right, I will connect it to the input of the sampler. I will turn off the envelope of the FM operator so it's droning. Set monitoring here to on. Right, so we can hear the input. Now I recommend having the root note of C so it's easier later to play the sample and stay in tune. So we will leave it at this note. By default, it's tuned to the note C4. But we can add some feedback here, change the sound. Right, maybe add also some wobble, if I zoom in a bit. Add some wobble with an LFO through the FM here. Right, something slower. Right, add some feedback again. Right, and now I will record this just as a, as a short example. I will record this like five seconds of it. So I arm the recording, I trigger it. Let's wait five seconds just so we have a recording. Right, I will stop it. Right, I can turn off monitoring. So now we don't hear the input anymore. Right, and now I can use a MIDI keyboard. In my case, it's the Arturia key step to play this polyphonically. So the volt per octave will go to the volt per octave of the sampler. You can see it's polyphonic. The gate will go to this trigger gate input. I will change this to gate. Of course, you can use also a polyphonic um, sequencer, but now I can play this sound while transposing it. So this is the original recording. Right, but again, I can transpose this. And play this polyphonically. bit clipping but later on we will make sure this will not happen right and this is the main idea and it's not the same as playing the FM operator polyphonically because in this case with the sampler lower notes will play also slower higher notes will play quicker or faster which gives this a totally different feel and sound. So now let's take this a few steps further. I will switch quickly to a new sampler. Right, and now let's start adding more layers to create something more complex. So we will use a mixer. I will use the MindMeld 8 channel mixer. Right, the main output will go already to the inputs of the sampler. Right, and for now we will use the FM operator. I have here the dim on which takes the level a bit lower, every bit lower gain. This is important. We don't want to uh, record something that's too hot, that's too loud. So maybe I can take here the dim out. Right, so now we have the FM operator just like before. But now, for example, we can send this FM operator with this wobble, right, through a chorus. I will use the one from flag. Right, so this will go to the chorus, from there to the mixer, take the mix all the way up, maybe a bit more drive, right, a bit more spread, so longer delay times, a bit movement here, not too much, but just a bit. Right, we can also send this through a fully wet reverb with plateau, right, so take the dry all the way down, add wet, maybe without filtering in this case, more modulation, so more movement, more decay, bigger size. Right, I have to take the, we have to take the level a bit down. Again, I don't want to record a sound that is too, that is too loud, just like before it will clip. So we want to make sure the levels, uh, input levels are okay. Right, so this will be one layer. Let's add another one. I will mute this. And the second one will be the classic VCO from Surge. I will send this as a stereo voice to the 
מיקסר. Right, again, I will leave it at the note C, but I will add unison of, five, of uh, nine voices, add detuning. Right, maybe change the shape to a pulse wave, right, and add modulation to the width control. Maybe I will use something like walk from Bog Audio, so it's a bit random. Right, just a bit. Maybe add some bit of a sub oscillator, just a bit. Something like this. Right, now take the level down and mix it back in with the FM operator again as a second layer. Right, something like this. Let's mute both and add another layer. So for this now we will use the VCV VCO. Right, maybe I will just use a triangle wave. Right, also here we can add a bit of uh, wobble with FM modulation. Right, let's see, just a bit. But make it slower. Right, maybe another LFO for panning modulation. Right, but not too much, I can take the scale a bit down. Again, make this nice and slow. Right, let's take this an octave up, so by default the uh, VCO will be tuned to C4. If I enter C5, this will be an octave up. And again, let's take the level down and mix it with the other layers. Right, something like this. Again, let's mute everything and add another layer. In this case, Let's add something with more movement, something a bit generative. So I will use Rampage from Befaco. Right, I will set both sections to loop or cycle and trigger them once. So they will start cycling. As the voice itself, we will use the sine VCO from Surge. I will send it through the stereo strip, which is a stereo VCA in this case, right to the mixer. Right. Something like this. Let's set again unison. Let's go of uh, three voices. Maybe change the wave type. Wave 10. A bit brighter, more harmonics. Now we will use two sample and hold modules from Bog Audio. One for each side of Rampage. The end of cycle of Rampage of each um, section here will trigger the sample and hold. And the sample and hold in return will modulate or modulate both sections of the envelopes of Rampage, the rise and fall. One envelope will control the level, make it nice and slow, slow motions or slow movements work better later with polyphony. Right, and the other one will be for feedback, for changing the timbre, maybe even slower. And again, we have some modulation from the sample and hold. Right, and again, let's mix this now with the other layers. Right, so now those are the layers that we will use. Let's put this here. And we will record, let's say about uh, 10 or 20 seconds of this. So again, I am recording. I trigger a recording. Now it will record everything with all, with all of the movements, with the panning modulation, with the timbre modulation, with the pitch modulation, all of the different movements there are being recorded. Let's say about 15 seconds. Right, so we have this recording. Again, it's not too hot as you can see. So we have enough uh, headroom for polyphony also. I'm going to turn monitoring off. So now we don't hear anymore the input, right? Again, Volper Octave will go to the Volper Octave input. Gate will go to the trigger gate input. Change this to gate. Right, and now again, we have the original sound. But we can play this also polyphonically and transpose it. Right, 
Right, and again, lower notes will play slower, so all of the movement will play slower, higher notes will play quicker. Let's see if we can hear this. Right, so we get really an interesting sound. Now I can change the envelope. There is a built-in envelope. So longer attack. So again, creates a nice pad. Less sustain, but a longer decay. So it will take uh, the envelope longer to reach the sustain level. And of course, more release. Listen to this. Right, you can add a nice reverb here. Right, so you can see the potential in this technique. You can explore this for days upon days. One more thing I want to show you is how to add also velocity uh, to this voice, to this pad for a bit more uh, dynamic variation. I'm going to make some space here and add a filter. This will be the filter from Surge. Send everything through the filter, maybe close it a bit, and then add the velocity control. Again, this can come also from a polyphonic sequencer to control the cutoff of the filter. So softer notes will be darker, louder notes will be brighter. So now there is a bit more of um, expressiveness, if you will. Right, something like this. sounds so nice um yeah so this is just one sound that we created there are endless variations you can explore you can add more layers you can add more movement use different sounds use found sound use sounds of the ocean as another layer this is insane all the things you can create with this technique if you find or create something interesting feel free to share it with me and with everyone else in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching cheers